You know, my why story begins in about the year 2000. And many people may not know, but around 2000, there were two YMCAs in the city of Plano. I was asked to serve on the branch board. One of the things we had to do that was difficult, we worked to merge both Ys into one. As I served on that local board, I was educated about the YMCA, youth government, preschool, after school. It's not just a place you go and work out. The YMCA really gives back to the community. One of the Y stories that really hooked me for life was about a young man named Tevin, whose mother had ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, and he was beginning to slur his speech because he was mimicking what his mother was saying at home. And the Y and the Y staff brought in a speech pathologist to help correct his speech. That was the hook. That got me. I said, I want to be a part of the YMCA of Metropolitan Dallas. They care about each individual within the community. You know, my day job is in healthcare. Well, the YMCA not only focus on your physical health, they look at chronic illness. They've got programs dealing with diabetes. They have programs dealing with cancer. They have programs now dealing with behavioral health issues, mental health issues, bullying that is impacting the lives of many of our young people. It is my honor to receive the Theodore Beasley Distinguished Leadership Award on behalf of the people that support the YMCA of Metro Dallas.